name's Aaron Clark. Well, my great-grandfather bought this land in 1886. There was a farm here. It was a farmhouse, so it was kind of run down. And we grow 65 to 70 acres of apples. It's always changing because we're always replanting and taking out older varieties. And we have one of the biggest bearing blocks of Honeycrisp in the state. I believe Dana was, my brother, was one of the first people to, to plant Honeycrisp in Massachusetts. It's always a gamble when you plant a new variety, but that one worked out. You know, this is a farm my father and my grandfather, my great-grandfather grew up on, and it's just an incredible legacy. You know, we've got the sixth generation growing up on the farm now. That means everything to me. We've been selling Whole Foods for 15, 20 years. I really uh, connected with the philosophy of, you know, bread and circus, Whole Foods, and so continued to do it. And then it just developed and turned into this tremendous help for our farm, keeping our farm going. Whole Foods is just a whole different experience. Whole Foods Market just, you know, nice people to deal with. And, and the other thing that's nice about Whole Foods is that they will send people out to visit us so that they can see what's going on here. A lot of money goes into the local economy from this farm. We hire people, you know, everything. Everything you can imagine is purchased locally to run this farm. You want open land, you want uh, farmers in Massachusetts, you better buy local. You know, people that are, are conscious about uh, the environment, I think uh, buying local, there's a big pitch for buying local because of the transportation issue. Of, you know, in this valley there were, when I grew up, there were, how many farms were there? 10, 12 farms? Today there's one that's us. I think, you know, we ought, to, uh, we ought to buy local as much as we can. I know we do. Just to know that you're keeping a family farm going, that's got to be worth something. Don't you think?